you are looking for inspiration for your low content books or you want to know how you can find tons and tons of ideas on your own, in this video we will be browsing for niches that you could potentially create within. Hello and welcome to or back to Passive Income Templates. My name is Laura and by the end of this video you will have plenty of ideas for what to create for this season and the upcoming quarter. This is one of my favorite ways to get inspired, so join me for this brainstorming session and you will get plenty of fresh ideas along the way. I'm going to do my ideation today on the website for a big book retailer here in Canada called Indigo, um, but you could do this on any similar site and of course you could do the same sort of thing in person at any bookstore because in any brick and mortar store every single square foot matters and retailers want to stock products that will sell so you are bound to find plenty of good ideas in person but for now online works great too so that's what we're going to be doing today and in this video let's take a look at three categories let's check out the best sellers list and see what's popular and let's also look at agendas and planners as well as notebooks and journals so let's pop over to journals and notebooks. Now, something to keep in mind is that there are obviously limitations to what you cre what you can create with Amazon KDP. So just overlook anything that has kind of spirals or tabs or pockets or any kind of additional features. Um, that's not to say that these products won't necessarily inspire you, but just be aware that they may be beyond what you can create on the platform. So starting off right here, let's look and see what we can see. So right off the bat, I'm seeing a lot of prompted journals. Here's one for feelings. Let's take a quick look inside. So this is interesting. You can follow your feelings, pick an emotion you want to explore or choose how you want to feel. Let me see if I can make this any bigger. So this is actually a table of contents, but um, it would kind of even be interesting if you could just, you know, circle the, the feeling that you want to feel or something like that. That's what I thought this page was, but that's an idea. Um, and then of course there's plenty of um, boxes here that can be filled in. There's space for a mantra. And prompts for feeling into this feeling. So that's really interesting. That's a good example. Um, this is the very popular five minute journal. I won't go into that. Here's a journal on joy. I'm sure that's very similar. It's got prompts for probably feeling happy, happiness. Here's an act daily journal. Calm the chaos. This one says a daily practice for a more peaceful life. And over here, we've got a get it together planner. So this is all about living with intention week by week. I don't think I can look inside this one, but it is a 52 week planner with organizational tools and inspirational messages. It looks like this is um, biblical. It's got classic scriptures um, plus productivity plus quotes. So that's a really interesting mix of mindfulness and religion. Let's see what else we can find. Here's a three year memory notebook that's meant to be filled in by couples together. Let's take a quick peek. taking a minute to load, but this is from the One Line a Day series. Um, feature space for couples to jot down treasured memories on the same date over three years. Okay. 
So this is just a blank, blank pages that they can keep coming back to year after year after year, which is kind of a sweet idea. Very simple. Here's a journal, Be Still, Just Between Us. This is another journal that can be filled in by a mother and son pair. Here's a book club journal. And also there are journals for writing prompts I saw in a different category. One for drawing prompts. Here's another one for writing prompts. That would be really great for creative writing and helping people get inspired, jumpstarting the creative process. A thousand things you don't know about me, my life in sketches. There could be some interesting prompts for drawing that you could create in this one. Of course, putting your own spin on it. The happiness journal, um, the rage journal on the other side of the coin. So lots and lots of ideas within journals and notebooks alone. Popping over to agendas, calendars, and planners, you can already see just by looking at the categories here, there are tons of different kinds of planners that you could potentially create. Um, just beyond the standard 12 month agenda that goes from, you know, year to year, this could be kind of, um, Things that span maybe different time periods. So maybe a agenda that specifically caters to students and the academic year. Maybe they don't need to be logging their entire year. Maybe they can skip the summer months and that one of those kinds of agendas would better suit them. Um, just something to think about. course a lot of these ones are you know spiral and kind of desktop um, solutions but even just looking at the covers here you can kind of get a sense of what's popular so a lot of these polka dot ones with this just the um, upcoming dates anything that's floral seems to do really well here's a one day at a time perhaps that's a daily planner and then, you know, um, planners with funny little sayings on them. This one says, I am very busy. Lots and lots of ideas. I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. And let's go into one of these other categories and see if we can get a little bit more specific. Let's check out these mid-year agendas. So this is something that people would be purchasing perhaps in the middle of the year from April to March, but that is something else to think about. And then these 17 month agendas that actually go from August to December. So that's very interesting. That's something that you could potentially be creating right now very, very quickly. And um, that's something that people would be interested in buying currently. And going back over to journals, here's some of the best selling ideas. They're kind of also jumbled in with writing supplies, but you can still filter through and find some decent ideas. So again, this 500 drawing prompts is in the best sellers list. Um, here's a receipt catcher, kind of a small pocket size, um, more writing prompts, looks like that just has a different kind of a cover, a sketchbook, um, this one's a little bit hard to read, the 52 lists project. Let's check this one out and see what it's all about. This is a year of weekly journaling inspiration. So this says list the happiest moments of your life so far. List the people you want to be like. Um, 
So all of these kinds of ideas are particularly good coming up to quarter four when people will be looking to do a lot of shopping and checking off all the items on their lists for Christmas and any other kinds of celebrations that fall in between. Travel journals, I expect that that kind of stuff will be pretty big especially as people are eager to travel or plan to travel once again. So there are just plenty of ideas to look at just by browsing the categories on a book website. If you have any questions related to looking for niches or coming up with ideas, let me know. I will do my best to get back to you in the comments below. And tell me if there are any bookstores you would like to see me browse online or if you'd like to do another one of these kinds of videos together, maybe looking through Barnes & Noble or something similar. I'm happy to do that in the future. And be sure to subscribe if you want more tips, tools, and resources for making passive income with print on demand. If you made it this far, I thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.